Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing my homeschooling convention haul. I got quite a few things at my FPEA convention, which was just a couple of days ago. FPEA stands for the Florida Parent Educator Association, and we have an amazing convention here in Florida every year. You don't have to be a Florida resident to attend the convention, so if you guys wanna travel for a convention, it's definitely one to consider. We have great speakers every year. Um, Heidi St. John is there almost every year that I've gone. Sonia Schaefer always comes and does a few sessions as well as has her booth. Um, oh my goodness, there are so many like big names. Sarah McKenzie was our, our keynote speaker one year. Um, Kirk Martin, who you guys know I love, he's there almost every year from Celebrate Calm. There is a huge expo hall with every curriculum company you can think of represented. And it's a great opportunity to meet up with a bunch of friends. So there were 10,000 uh, people registered this year, but also your spouses and children and grandparents can come for free as well. And so uh, I believe I've heard ballpark numbers that in the last few years, there have been around 15 to 20,000 attendees. It certainly feels that way. This year I didn't know because last year it ended up getting canceled, obviously. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be less or more this year, but on Friday, Ron DeSantis was there for the keynote address, who is our governor here in the state of Florida, and most people are huge fans of him right now, especially homeschoolers, um, because he just signed the um, Parental Bill of Rights. And so uh, he's he's got a pretty good rap around um, for Flor most Floridians, right? Many, I won't say most, I'll say many Floridians, um, especially um, as far as education <laughs> choice goes. And so because he was there, it was a huge turnout. Um, I am collabing before I go too far into the intro today with Jessica from the Waldock Way. She is a good friend of mine and we actually hung out at the convention for quite a few hours one day. We had planned to wander the expo hall together and then Bella and Emily really hit it off and they kind of just kept us chasing them with our wallets for a little while because like mother, like daughters. <laughs> so they, uh, I'll link their future YouTube channels down below when it, when it comes time. Uh, anyway, so without further ado, here is what I got at our FPEA homeschooling convention. Okay, so like I said, this video is a collab with Jessica Waldock from the Waldock Way. She and I were texting before the convention and I said, do you wanna to plan to do a haul because I was working on my schedule? And she said, I'll have to get there and see if I have enough to do a haul. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm even gonna do a haul if I only buy like two or three things. And within like 10 minutes, we were both like, yeah, we're gonna do a haul because you just know you're gonna find something. I didn't even need curriculum, but there's just so many cool shops there. This year, Rainbow Resource wasn't there or my haul would have been 10 times larger. But I'm gonna walk you through, um, I'm going to walk you through my um, thought process here as far as the things that I chose. Um, so I started, first of all, by going straight over to Nature Workshop nature's workshop because rainbow resource wasn't there so typically i avoid nature's workshop because rainbow resource tends to have very similar or the same things and rainbow resource tends to be like bottom price um, but since rainbow resource wasn't there i checked out a couple of other shops i don't usually shop at and i was really impressed like their prices were fine so um, the first thing I grabbed was this Kids Labs Survival Science Kit, and I, cr I checked the Amazon price while I was standing there, and this price was better. Um, so this is the, uh, what, do, what can they make with this? Science is not just for the classroom. This fantastic survival kit shows how science can help you get out of trouble in the wild. So they can make a telescope, a sundial, a torch, Morse code machine, um, a water purifier, a compass, a reflective mirror, a whistle, and a magnifier. So I grabbed that. The next thing I grabbed from that shop was this mineral science kit. They also had a rock science kit, but I thought this mineral one was really neat. Uh, 15 specimens with a magnifying viewer, a nail to test hardness, and a streak plate to test powder co color. Um, so they can learn to test, classify, and identify using the tools and 15 rock specimens included in the kit. So that was really neat. I also grabbed this paracord kit. 
uh, 54 feet of paracord, six buckles, and an instruction booklet. My friend, my kids' friends make paracord. They have a couple of friends who do the bracelets. And my kids have never expressed interest in it, but I thought this was a cute little starter kit. So if any of them are interested, then it can be something that we pursue. And that was just $5. And then the last thing was this, which I've had my, I've had this on my Amazon wishlist for a while. And this was the best price I've seen it for. So it's the life cycle figurines. It's a 24 piece set. It has uh, the life cycle of butterfly, ladybug, ant, praying mantis, honeybee, and a frog. And I have considered buying a couple of these individually, but I'm so glad they had the full kit there. So, um, for example, I'll open one, I'll open the frog here, because one of my friends has this one and she used it when we did our pond study. So you have the um, egg, the tadpole, let's see if I can get that to, yeah. Um, what is this called, like a froglet? I can't remember. My friend taught that week <laughs> and the um, frog. So that is great and it has, like I said, honeybee, praying mantis, ladybug, ant, butterfly, and I will link this down below. Like I said, it is on Amazon if you guys wanna grab one for yourself, but Nature Workshop had the best price I've seen on it. So I, will, I guess they probably have a website. I'll link their website down below as well. So that was the first shop that I stopped at. I actually stopped there with my brother and he and I got hung up there for quite a while. <laughs> he was like, he was super, he um, does CC and I can't remember what it is that they're doing in this next cycle, but he was finding tons of resources for it and he was really excited. So um, that was my first stop. All right, next stop, I'm sure you guys um, are not surprised that I still hit up the Simply Charlotte Mason booth even though I didn't really need anything, but I always find something I need. Uh, there was one thing that I wanted to check out and see for myself. It was the Bible picture portfolio. This is a new item. I haven't seen it. Uh, I've seen it online, but I haven't seen it in person yet. So I ended up getting the parables um, because we're doing New Testament this year. So I thought this would be like the best bang for my buck um, because we'll probably get through some of the, they have some of the New Testament books, like they have Matthew, they have Mark, I think they have Acts. Um, but if the kids go quickly through them, then we won't really linger on these. So I thought the parables would be the best one to start with. They also have some Old Testament ones. Um, and these are just en enhance your Bible lessons with personal and reverent details depicted in the works of the great masters. So they're just some um, pictures to hang up as you're discussing and they're doing their narrations. So I grabbed that. I also, oh, this is fellas, okay. I also grabbed List um, as our composer this year. Did I say that right? List, List. Um, as our composer this year. And then I grabbed For the Children's Sake. I've never read For the Children's Sake before and I've heard it quoted a couple of times recently. And then I went to Sonia Schaefer's, the only, I went to the opening, like I said, where Ron DeSantis and Rick Green um, spoke uh, at the opening on Friday and then just spent the rest of the time at the expo. But I did end up going to Sonia Schaefer's Laying Down the Rails workshop. Um, which is probably the one, the single workshop I've never heard her do before. And so I do love laying down the rails. I know how to use the curriculum well. I understand the Charlotte Mason method and the theory behind habits, but I still learned so much. So, and she had so much practical advice in that. Uh, one of the things that she highlighted was laying down the rails for yourself. And I don't have laying down the rails for yourself. So I got it. John actually really wants to read it as well. So now I have the complete laying down the rails um, series. And then there's one more thing that I didn't technically buy there, but I was going to buy there, which is Midsummer Night's Dream as our Shakespeare for this year. Um, but when I was there shopping with my girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend and I went with both of our oldest daughters. We wanted them to kind of get their hands on some things. Her daughter's starting high school this year and then Bella's going to seventh grade. So we wanted them to start making some decisions if they wanted to peek at other curriculum. And uh, so I was in the Simply Charlotte Mason booth with her and she said that they had just done this and had it at home. So I'm just borrowing it from her. So um, when we stopped back at her house, um, she grabbed this for me. So we have that. 
from Simply Charlotte Mason, I went over to YWAM. Yes, right here. Now, we still have tons of YWAM books that we haven't gone through yet, so I didn't even look at the chapter books. It's so tempting, but I didn't look at them. But I did go there on a mission to get the Heroes for Young Readers books. My boys have been very interested in the YWAM books. They can read, or my oldest can definitely read them on his own if he wants to, but I feel bad that I don't keep it in our morning basket, but I just don't have time to read one more book. Um, especially where we're at in history right now, we're reading so much. And so I just know that one more will kind of tilt that balance. And so as many of you know, YWAM books are the assigned independent books that I use for my daughter's uh, written narration reports every month. And so I thought I would get these Heroes for Young Readers. I got five of them to put in our morning basket every other month or so. So I got Lauren Cunningham, which I believe he's the founder of what Youth with a Mission. Um, yes. And then I also got Hudson Taylor, which my kids are familiar with the story, but it's always a good one to reread. Nate Saint, David Livingstone, and C.S. Lewis. And these are great picture books. I think they will take us more than one day to get through because there's um, a lot of illustration, a lot of writing. So for the kids to really like digest it, um, we'll do a few pages and do some narration uh, every couple of days. So that was what I grabbed from YWAM. Then I did stop over, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. So I stopped over at the Etiquette Factory and I grabbed this because I have started a Charlotte Mason co-op for next year with some girlfriends. I'm very, very excited. I'm sure at some point I will share more, but I'm thinking I'm want wanting to wait until we get going a few weeks into it to share uh, both my expectations, but also how it's really going. And I feel like that will be like the reality of the group a little, like, cause right now it's all daisies and roses, but once we get into like go getting through the timestamps of the co-op and all of that and refine it a little bit, then I feel like I would want to share if that makes sense. I don't want to like, share that we're doing all these things and then some things don't work out and then you guys think you're doing something wrong if you try to do it too, you know what I mean? So, uh, but we are having like a morning meeting at this co-op and some of the things that we're including is catechism, missionary stories, poetry, hymns, folk song, and a couple of the moms mentioned etiquette. And so my girlfriend and I walked over to this booth and this is great. So I'm gonna use this in Morning Basket next year. It is called uh, Intermediate Etiquette. And it's 125 lessons. There are just three minutes each time. I don't think we'll get through it in one school year, but you just read a little bit like uh, tact and you talk about tact and then there's an activity where they have five minutes to draw a portrait of themselves. Then they come up and show their portrait, instruct the students to find things they can compliment. What do they like about the photo? Only positive remarks are allowed. This is tact, not lying, but looking for the positive. I love it. I think it's going to be a great thing for our morning basket. Um, so, and I also think that it's going to work well to do some lessons here or there in our co-op next year. So that's the only thing I got from the etiquette factory. Uh, Bella went over to, there's like a, a, um, previously loved books shop there. I don't know what it's called. It's not a, like a used bookstore cause they're, they're all, um, you can tell they're carefully selected what they put on the shelves, but Isabella found this League of Regrettable Superheroes and she just had to buy this for my dad for Father's Day. So she actually bought that with her own money. Um, and then Miller pads and paper. I'm gonna throw a picture in here because Jessica, <laughs> Jessica grabbed a picture of me um, and this is how I know I'm a convention pro. <laughs> I'm not a newbie to these conventions. So she actually, she came running over and was like, Abby, uh, Miller Pads and Paper has these really cool Melissa and Doug things and they kind of remind me of those Esborn books. Like they're the lift the flap times tables books is what she was talking about. She's like, they kind of remind me of the Esborn books, but they're like wheels and it's just one number at a time. And I was like, say no more, Melissa and Doug, math, let's go. So we walked over there. They are these, um, Fast Facts, which I like these because they're kind of like flashcards, but you can't lose them individually. So this is the Division Facts. And so you spin this, and this number changes, and then you can lift up and find the answer. I think that's so fun. <clears throat> they had out on the table, the display, they had the Division, Subtraction, and Addition. And she was like, oh no, 
um, they must have sold out of the multiplication and I was like, wait, we know how this works. <laughs> so I lifted up the little curtain. It's stock that they would have put out in just a couple of minutes anyway whenever they had time to go through. So I knew that they keep the stock underneath the curtain and I pulled the box out and lo and behold, I found the multiplication. I was very happy. I was standing right behind the guy who is like through behind the cashier. I was not in the wrong, but it was just funny to me that I was like, cause my first year I would've been so bummed out and I was like, oh no, they just keep extra under the table and like pull the curtain down and go through it. But I found it and I bought it and I'm very excited. So I got all four of them. I think these will be really fun to have in our basket. Um, the next thing I got from them was this Do a Dot Royal Shimmer. They had a deal, um, one pack of Do a Dot and two of their Do a Dot books for $20. And so um, I think it was a savings of $2 to do it that way, but I would have gotten them anyway. Um, so I got these Royal Shimmer Do a Dots for Annabeth. Um, I thought she would have really enjoyed those. And I got her this ABC one, two, three in shapes and then the rainbow trail do a dot art. So I haven't really done do a dot with her. So I thought she would really enjoy that. And then Bella also got a watercolor book and a set of her own watercolor, but I don't see them in the bag. So I'm assuming that she already grabbed them and has them probably in her room. So actually that is all that I got at the, at the expo. Um, so it's quite a bit still. I mean, it's, it's just comical that Jessica and I thought we might not have enough for a haul because do you know who we are? Of course we were gonna shop at the homeschool convention. Um, so that is what I got from the FPEA homeschooling convention. Make sure you go over and check out Jessica's video to see what she got. They got some really, really great stuff. So, spoiler alert, you're gonna probably like her haul a lot more than mine. Some really cool science stuff. I'm really excited actually to go watch her haul because we were like really getting overwhelmed. At one point she was rolling my cart around for me because I was just like in a daze. And so I never really got to see, Kevin kept running things back to the room too, I think, or at least he was carrying them. So anyway, I didn't get to see every single thing that she bought. So um, go check out her video. I'm going to do the same. Thank you, Jessica, for collaborating with me today on this video. I will see you guys soon. Bye.